Welcome back, everyone. And, uh, we are here in the backyard with a very special friend, Sarah Magalicio-ish. I don't know. It's been a while. It's been a minute since you were here. We were talking about like the Mark Kobrick days, which feels like way too long from now. But welcome back. Thank you. She's with the Associated Landscape Contractors of Colorado. We have been laughing out here, and I'm learning so much already. So I want to share with you. So May was incredibly wet, fourth wettest on record, and this did some serious damage. Is what, you know, we need the water, but kind of too much of a good thing in some regard, right? A little bit. Like it's kind of like I feel like the Grim Reaper, where on one hand I'm so happy because the water table's up. Yes. The farmers are getting more water. You know, we're not worried about drought so much. However, it actually does a lot of damage to the plants in your landscape, especially when they're not used to getting all that water. Right. And it's causing disease too because there's yeah. so much. Talk to me about funguses this plant. disease. So this okay. this particularly is called powdery mildew. It might be hard to pick up on camera, but you'll start to see it and it'll look like a like a powder form right it's here. It's like a little like white yeah, stuff and on it, the leaves. It okay. especially happens on lilacs, zinnias, um, dahlias, a lot of annual plants. And the best thing that you can do for yeah. this plant when you see that is just come in and don't be shy. Get the clippers out. And get the clippers out and get that out of there because you want oxygen flow to come into oh, the plant because okay. the second you end up getting too much of like it's like too many people close to you at a concert and you're like i need space yeah because then you're going to just get spread with glitter and, and so the important you'll thing never is recover. you'll never recover mm -hmm. there are natural things that you can use i don't usually like to name specific yeah. products however yeah. go talk to your local nursery there's some okay. really great products that are natural and safe for kids for bees for for animals and they get rid of the powdery mildew and they keep it from spreading. Okay, that's good. We also have had like afternoon thunderstorm after afternoon thunderstorm and hail. Oh, everyone's like, no, my gardens. I mean, we joke, we were like, hail no. Hail no. Hail but no. It's happening. You brought some plants and then even here in our beautiful nine backyard that just got redone, we also have hail damage too. So if you have it in your gardens, we feel that your pain. Here's the thing, if your plant has been damaged beyond uh, two thirds, it's probably gonna have trouble recovering. Oh really? But you can see on this plant, it's really only been damaged by about one third. So the best thing you can do is come oh, in here. You're gonna go to town, I like and it. And just remove all the damaged leaves because the plant is trying to send all of its energy right now to heal to all recover. of those leaves. And yeah. those leaves are never gonna look again, like they're never gonna look good again. And you can see right here, the basal growth is already coming in. And so this instead will extend all that energy into the new growth, which is exactly it what you want. Oh, really fast actually. Okay. If okay. you leave these leaves on, then it no. won't grow as quickly. Okay. And it'll spend all this energy from that root system sending it to this plant. Bottom line, get your clippers out and go to town in the gardens. Also, Feels um, good too. you have a few props for us too, in case, you know, you're like, oh, I'm just looking at the radar and the thunderstorm's coming in. I gotta get my plants covered. Da 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 da. Okay, I have a Box million of these in my garage. So If you have baby starts, especially stuff that's small like this, or yep. you're in your vegetable garden and you just have your little lettuces and stuff coming up, just cover it with a box like this, it's shelter. perfect, yeah. Now, remember, don't leave it out overnight because once it starts to get wet, it could collapse on your plants and then you pretty much end up doing twice the damage, so take it off when the hailstorm's done. Okay, good reminder. If good you reminder. wanna leave it and it's something taller, okay. nice hardcore basket like solid. this, you can put that over these. Now, if you have something super tall, <laughs> yep, bust I sometimes pull out my hamper. Yeah, just mainly my kids' laundry go in this, <laughs> but sometimes I might decide to like cover this entire plant. And then I put the, I, I don't want to hurt these lovely dahlias. They're gorgeous. But like you can put like a protective trash bag, trash bag on top. Okay. And then you can leave this overnight even. That, that's You'll be okay. fine. You just don't want the holes to be empty. Okay. And then you actually have breathing room on the sides. That's awesome. So you just cover the top. Okay. And your gardens will stay alive and beautiful yes. despite the crazy weather that we have had this spring season. But if it looks this bad, don't try to save it. And if it starts looking rotten, also let it go. I say send it to let the it compost go. gods. Okay. All right. Sarah, this was so fun. Oh, Thanks thank for you. coming in. Please come back soon. Great okay. to see you. All right. You too. Don't go anywhere. Nine is a four returns right after this.